Hey Tommy, it's like Christmas and summer. We just got our bespoke post box of goodies. That's right, and Bespoke Post is a really cool subscription service that introduces you to new hobbies and new items on a monthly basis. So it could be a better way to shave or perhaps a really cool camping knife. There's a lot of cool potential goodies that'll come in these Bespoke Post boxes. So let's see what we got today. All right, let's check out this multi-tool, Tommy, because I love multi-tools. It's Check it out, 18 tools in one. And guys, just click on the link below and use the code TFL20 to get a 20% discount on your first box. In the battle of the ultimate off-roader, there's a head-to-head -head matchup that's been around for quite a long time. Of course, I'm talking about Jeep versus Land Rover. So what do we got today, Tommy? Yeah, we've got the Land Rover Defender 110 and the Jeep Gladiator. Granted, not really apples to apples, more apples to like sausages, but it's gonna be a great video because we've got these two rigs, both slightly modified, both going up a pretty cool off-road trail. Yep, that's right, we're gonna take them up Red Cone, which is a challenging and spectacular mountain. So let's get right to it. Now I'm super excited for this shoot because today we are finally gonna push that Defender out on some harder, more rocky terrain. And you're probably wondering, well, does that Defender really compete with a Gladiator? No. <laughs> Not really, but this is more about just having fun out on the trail, seeing what the rigs can do, seeing how they compare, because, interestingly enough, this has a 2-inch lift and tires that are 2 inches larger than stock. And that Defender has a 2-inch lift and tires that are 2 inches larger than stock. This has an MSRP of about 55000 That Defender has an MSRP of about 76000 And we've got really four vehicles with us today. We're primarily focusing on the Jeep versus the new Defender in this video. But if you head over to TFL Classics, I've got the new Defender up against that old Defender you might see in some of the shots. And we also have a Forerunner. get the right program I'm gonna go with uh, mud and ruts I think that's the right program and that's the biggest difference um, the gladiator basically is old school so you've got a locking center diff a locking rear diff and if you want a locking front diff plus of course you can disconnect the sway bar this on the other hand well it's much more modern in the way that it works and what I mean by that is well I've got independent suspension unlike solid axles I also uh, only have a locking center diff even though uh, a rear locker is available you can't get a front locker uh, and then of course instead of um, a disconnectable sway bar I've got air suspension over the years Land Rover has really done a great job in perfecting just how their terrain management system works and basically it uses wheel speed sensors uh, to figure out what tire has traction and what tire doesn't have traction and then depending on what mode you have it in it changes the amount of wheel speed uh, that you get or wheel spin it changes your throttle inputs overall the idea is it gives you a lot more control and it gives you a lot more off-road ability uh, that is a little bit less based on experience and just um, a little bit more novice friendly. So one of the cool things about this Defender is right here, check it out, the off-road pages. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of really great information that's being displayed here. First, you can tell uh, when the center lock is locking. Uh, right now it's fully locked because I've got it in mud and ruts. You can tell, you know, what degree we're going up, uh, what degree we're tilted. Uh, you can also kind of look at, see what the uh, suspension is doing. And then, of course, you get the altitude. We're at uh, just over 10,000 feet. So I've got a really good set of cameras, so let me, let me activate those. Uh, and cameras have really changed the name of the game because what you can do is uh, you can check this out you can see what the vehicle is doing as if there was a camera that was mounted in front of it and this gives you a really great look at well what obstacles you're about to hit or not hit uh, and you can do the same thing from behind look at that it's almost uh, like watching a movie let's hit this guy and now you can actually see where my uh, where my wheels are and what rocks I'm about to go over. We have aired down 
So we are uh, at about uh, just under 20 pounds. It gives me a lot more grip uh, on the tires, but I think that's my favorite view right there. All right, and if that wasn't a big enough party trick actually seeing the vehicle, you can also use this camera view, which uh, actually shows you what's in front of the wheels by looking through, that's right, through the hood. So you'll just want to kind of keep the passenger close to the, this rock, but not on it, yeah. driver on this rock, yeah. and you'll come right up. So Tommy, have you locked uh, your front and rear diffs yet? No. Have you unhooked your sway bar? Yeah, just because it's comfy. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to lock your... Uh... No. No? So I'm going to try You're going to keep it open here. Yeah, uh-huh. Huh? All right, let's see what you do. We're just going to creep our way up here. A little bit of left foot braking, maybe. There you can really tell the dismantable sway bar how much it helps. And there you can tell the extra length of the gladiator how much it doesn't help. Did you have to lock anything up? No. No? <laughs> no. Nothing locked up. All right. Tommy. Good work. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate right. it. That was my turn. All right, here we go. Our first real obstacle. Come on. Worried about that rock on my right. But I think uh, I cleared it. Fails, throw a rock under the wheel. There you go. Still hung up, huh? Back you up just a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more. Right there. Okay. Now, as you come up, yep. I want you to go hard passenger. You got it. Keep it passenger for now. That's looking good. A little bit more. Okay, and then start coming driver. Just take it real slow. You got it. Yep. How we looking there? Just real slow, you're gonna come down on your driver. A winch. You're going to want to go kind of slow off of it though because it's right on the edge. There we go. There we go. There she's up. Nice job. All right. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. So you can see, so the, what, that was a rear dip there. Of aluminium. Yeah, there you go. Right. That right there is uh, nice nice bits work. of Land Rover. Yeah, that right there. Job. That is the, uh, what, that was a lower control arm? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gladiator, no problem. Defender, well, it had to work for it. Uh, old Defender, easy, three inch lift. Now let's see how Toyota does. Yep. Yep. Keep it just a little driver. That Land Rover Defender is available with a rear diff lock. That particular one 
doesn't have the rear differential lock, so it's relying entirely on its traction control and terrain response to allocate power where it needs to go. Now, of course, this Gladiator is a Rubicon, so I do have front and rear diff locks, and that's a, that's a pretty big advantage out here. The other big advantage is we own this Jeep, so I'm not going to feel really bad if I run this into a tree. And I know my dad, he could be taking a lot of these obstacles with more confidence, but he's just super nervous, as you would be if someone let you their $76,000 Defender and said, hey, go drive over these big rocks. So I can't blame him on that one. It's doing everything that I've asked it to do, even though it's not making it look as easy as a Jeep. I want to thank our friends here at Land Rover of Denver for lending us this Defender to put up against the Jeep. And if you guys are looking for a new Defender or any other Land Rover, check them out because they've got not just Defenders but cool discos like this. Now that is the way the disco should come from the factory. Now the Jeep Gladiator is truly incredible off-road. One of only a few vehicles that is available from the factory with a locking front differential and a locking rear differential. And the second you add a slight lift and slightly oversized tires like this Gladiator, air them down like we did, this thing will go basically anywhere. Granted, they are quite long beasts. You know, it's got a significant amount of wheelbase on it. It is comfortable the only way to describe it and this is where it kind of is unfortunate that it's so long because I got to make a relatively tight turn and I run the potential of clipping this big ass rock. Rubbing sidewalls there but looks like I cleared the big ass rock. I've got boulders on the left. I've got boulders on the right, I've got over $70,000 worth of truck. Throttle response is very tippy, but trying to not make, trying to make sure I don't hit a boulder. I'm really trying not to damage a vehicle that doesn't belong to me. Not. Just a little bit of hitting. Yeah, that's what happens. Go left. Left? Yeah. Or far right over there. So this is the rock garden and we've got basically three different uh, routes up. So uh, right is definitely easy, right? This is just basically a trail. The center, um, look at this pointy rock right there. Uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be an ass dragger. Uh, and the left is going to be hard. Left will be hard because it's, it's loose. Yeah. So, so here, here's the deal. Tommy, come on over here. Which way do you want to go? I don't yeah. care. Whatever. These guys are most comfortable taking the Land Rover up. I will do the same line. You, you can do the same line as, as, the, as the Defender. Yeah. All right, Steve. This is your this is your vehicle. So at this point, I'm gonna tap out, and I'm gonna let you pick. <laughs> Okay. The line that you want. So. All right. Well, we got to take the hard line. I think. You want to take the hard line? I think so. All right. What's the hard line? It's center. You gonna go down? Middle? You gonna go down the middle? I think so. Oh, dude, that is bad. Hard. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, I'm gonna go up the hard line of the Gladiator. Now, Steve from Land Rover Denver said I can't use my lockers. I'm probably gonna use the lockers though. So I'm gonna try open first, and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try lockers. All right, lockers. Engage. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I got pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty beach. Back on out a little bit. Yep. Yep. There you go. There you go. Okay. One more time. Let's back up. Our driver. Our driver. Our driver. You'll want to unlock the front for sure. Hard passenger, excellent. Little passenger, there you go. Let's climb this guy, come a little passenger. Well, we couldn't quite take right down the middle, but we uh, we were able to do something almost as fun. Tires were warmed up.
up on the passenger. Nice job, dude. Yeah. I'm impressed. Fun, right? Yeah, and if you had a rear locker, it would have even been easier. And Tommy, well, you know. Gladiator. You got, yeah, high centered as always. Uh, well, we got a lot of traffic. Let's keep on moving. Let's keep on moving. <laughs> but, dude, uh, yeah. congratulations. Nice Thanks. work. Nice. So it's getting super articulated here. I'm, I'm about to show you the benefits of the solid axle. I've got uh, my rear diff locked, but you can see exactly how the vehicle articulates. Sway bar is disconnected. The front axle is just dipping in there nice, right into the hole. Now for the rear axle. It's going in there nice too. Yeah, it just works like a drink. We'll almost just roll it into the wall. Not great. Max articulation. This is what people do when they go to malls and they want to show off that their rig is off road capable. They line them up on curbs. Here's a little POV of an area that's very articulated. So uh, let's see how the Defender does compared to a solid axle when we get into some uh, pretty crazy ruts. Here we go. We're really gonna test this vehicle's grip. Really keep the uh, tires on the ground. There we go. Just a little bit of momentum. Maybe too much momentum. But it did it, and that's what counts. Well, we are now well above tree line, climbing higher and higher. We are probably getting close to 12 or 13,000 feet above sea level. <sighs> it's getting high. This is where like the naturally aspirated engine in the Pentastar struggled, but the turbocharger in that Defender behind me should be hanging in there pretty well. So it's getting exciting now. Almost to the top. Come on, G. Almost to the top of the mountain, nearly 13,000 feet above sea level. <laughs> it's been tons and tons of pointy rocks. The Jeep is just eating it all up. So is that Defender, so is the old Defender, and so is that Forerunner. So it's been a really great day out on the trail. Just popping up into the clouds, and yeah, here we are.
right, Tommy. I'm gonna take this and put it into basketball terms. Okay. All right, so behind me, we've got Shaq. Okay. All right. To the right of me, we got LeBron James. Yep. And behind me, I'm gonna go with Michael Jordan. Yeah, I'm not sporty enough to understand those references. And way in the back is a foreigner, which did this trail no problem either. <laughs> All right, that could be Larry Bird. <laughs> because it's so old. Well guys, thanks for watching. They all made it up here and uh, you know, we do real world reviews and this is about as real world as it gets. And remember, go back to TFL Car for more news, views, and what else, Tommy? Real world reviews. And guys, thanks especially to Land Rover of Denver because yeah, they put that very expensive vehicle in harm's way and proved you can do it. See you guys next time, ciao.